Hey yo, it's Guido coming at you with a Tactics Talk replay of the week. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate your support. On this episode, we have Bonzi Duck. Like I said, with a replay of the week in his P2640 Italian Tier 4 medium tank from the new Italian line. I skipped this tank. I've heard a lot of good things about it, especially at low tier. Has a fantastic gun and a lot of armor. About a 50 millimeter front with some crazy angling. A 75 millimeter, 175 damage, 70 pen HE gun on this thing, which is a little crazy at this tier. He's in a 510 top tier and a 510 with a bunch of tier threes are running around. And let's see what happens here. You'll see that the front has kind of standard early tank, not really thinking about angling too much. Lots of weird little angles on it, but enough to do pretty well with the 50 millimeters. And you're about to find out just how well, especially against a bunch of smaller tanks like he's facing right here. He went over to the east side and initially I wasn't too excited about the red line crossing over there I thought hey you need to get up front but look he's only got an M3 Stewart and this other crazy guy right behind him here misses the PZ1C and the one thing he really wants to avoid in this game is getting surrounded by several PZ1Cs and other such things in this MTLS at least I think that's what he wants to avoid we're about to find out that maybe that doesn't matter <laughs> down goes that guy looked like a 230 shot but it was actually 178 which is a good thing for any new players out there. Sometimes you'll see a much larger damage listed when you shoot somebody like that. But what it's doing is added the last couple shots together. If the shots are within X number of time, I don't know what it is. It seems to be a second or two at the most. Then it's just going to add up all the damage instead of showing you two different damage totals. The other guy probably sees the same thing. If you look down to the bottom left right there, you'll see that he only did 178. And here comes... The little guys, I might have pushed forward and tried to ram him just to kill him on the way there, Bonzi, just as a technique, but it doesn't seem to matter. Look, they're all rolling in here, taking shots. Look at him bouncing all those PZ-1C shots. Goes for the ram there, that was a good idea. See how you didn't take very much, so it didn't really matter if you'd have rammed the other guy. And he's, this is pretty worst case. If they'd have come around a little more, more uh, coordinated, it might have been worse, but look at him, he's just bouncing everything. He's at 476 bounced. A couple of low rolls on the side of that guy. Looks like you're just kind of catching his edge, but down he goes. The 127. 523 bounce. Now his younger cousin, the Tier 3 Italian tank, charges him. He goes down in a heap, and we are at five kills. Oh, look, there's one more coming at him. Again, had they all been there together, that might have worked out a lot better for Bonzi. I think I might zoom in on this guy and just take that shot. You had a shot for a long time there, Bonzi. Just zoom in. You're kind of doing that third person thing. And he goes down. Look at all those bounces. 773. And at this point then, relatively even, 9-7, your team has a bit of an advantage. What I found funny about this is Bonzi basically has taken on nearly half their team. At least one-third. A little over one-third. Lost a couple friends along the way, but what's the rest of the team done? The rest of the team looks like they've basically lost to the other <laughs> the other part of the enemy team. The smaller part, probably. Or at least even over there. The Hetzer's there in the middle. If you count noses, you can count one, two, three, four, five tanks, either shown or on the map, last knowns. So you know they're all over there. Took you a while, I think, to really realize that. You're sort of droning along the edge here. Probably thinking, well, I need to clear this out, make sure there's no one over here. Well, guess what? There isn't. I'd have made a, an INS direct beeline for that Hetzer to try to help that LTP survive that thing over there. Definitely sh knock down trees. They deserved it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, your team is tied up at 10-10. You've got a camper in the back, an artillery, a Tier 3 holding that middle hill, and an LTP getting chased by a Hetzer. So one more hit from that Hetzer, that LTP is going down. I think you could have been there a little sooner if you'd have gone straight in there. As it is, it didn't hurt you too much. You can see this good depression on this tank. He's going to come right up on this little edge. Finds this Hetzer. Blap. Down goes the LTP. Blap. It's too bad it didn't track him. That surprised me a little bit, shooting HE like that. Oh, there's a miss. This is an HE bounce, which cracks me up. I must wait a minute. Hold on. Are we shooting heat now? Yes, we are. We're shooting heat. Never mind. I did not realize he had switched over to heat. So heat will bounce off of armor or 
mantlets and such things. 773 blocked, 1559 damage, 7 kills. He's going to swing back towards his cap. This is a this is a great idea right here. This is something that people need to learn. What he did is he, he won his flank. He came across, took out the Hetzer, and now he's going back to cap to secure his cap and check if anyone of their team is going there. If he'd have pressed on to their cap, two things happen. Number one, he goes out into the open because it's quite open over by the cap. Two, he's out of position if both those tanks manage to get in on his cap. And he's just asking for Artie to hit him while he's messing around on their cap and have their tanks come back and shoot him out in the open. So he's using this cover, hanging out around his cap and just seeing if he can't find one of these guys making a move or making a mistake. Checks it out a little bit. But he's in great shape. He's a tier 4. They have two tier 3s. He's got a tier 4 TD hanging out by his cap, helping him if they do push in. So... He's going to cross across here. It looks like a great idea to me. And let's go check and see if they're trolling around the edges of this hill over here, trying to look for that TD or artillery. I'm going to creep in here. The 76 is moving around a bit, looking for something, trying to find a tree or a bush to see out of. I'm not really sure why he's moving so much. Probably should be in a bush just waiting. And Bonzi. E and ease his way up here very carefully. Where are they? It's another one of those 1542 guys and an IKV. Come up here and grab the high ground, kind of use this bush to help cover his approach a little. Oops, there they are. There's one. First shot probably should have been a kill. I'd have zoomed in immediately on that guy, Bonzi. Modeling looks weird there. It might have been the shadow. It looked like he was pushing something, but I assume that might have been the shadow. Oh, 76 is getting roughed up by the IKV. Those IKV 72s have a pretty good gun, but a fairly long reload at that tier. Gets another one in on him, but doesn't quite kill the 76, and down he goes. And we have Bonzi at 8 kills. 8 kills. Can he get 9? Can he get 9 kills? Well, he's going to have to drive all the way to the corner, more than likely, to find this artillery. Or does he? Well, the good news is the artillery gets aggressive. And we don't have to watch Bonzi drive all the way back to the corner. That was like a weird sixth sense, Bonzi. I don't know why you paused right there, but... <laughs> like, what made you think he was coming around that corner? <laughs> that may have been a natural, when I go around corners, be careful thing. And the only tank that gets any kind of damage on Bonzi is a shotgun from the STPZ of 115. Nine kills, 1,753, 773 blocked, like having two more tanks with him. Spare hit point tanks dragging along. As soon as one's done, you can start the other one. Kind of a three-life battle, actually, considering the amount of damage that he blocked or bounced. N66 assisted. Nice game, man. Game of the week. Nine kills, a little low tier action. It looks like that tier four Italian tank is pretty fantastic. Of course, that's a one off battle. I may go down there and check it out and do a review on it. But if you like my reviews or you want to see the reviews on the other tanks, I have the five, six, and seven reviewed right now on the channel. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And as always, we will see you.